Problem number A2. A simple gun can be made from a uniform cylinder of length L0 and uh, inside radius RC. One end of the cylinder is sealed with a movable plunger and the other end is uh, plugged with a cylindrical cork bullet. The bullet is held in place by friction with the wells, walls of, cylinder, of the cylinder. The pressure outside the cylinder is uh, atmospheric pressure, P0. The bullet uh, will just start to slide out of the cylinder if the pressure inside the cylinder exceeds uh, P critical. <sighs> so, the first problem from this uh, A2 problem. There are two ways uh, of uh, to launch the bullet either by heating the gas inside the cylinder and uh, keeping the plunger fixed or by suddenly pushing the plunger into the cylinder. In either case, uh, assume that an ideal monatomic gas is inside the cylinder and that uh, originally the gas is at uh, temperature T0. The pressure inside cylinder uh, same as outside P0 and the length of the cylinder L0. Assume that we uh, launch the bullet by uh, heating gas without uh, moving the plunger. Find the uh, minimum temperature of the gas necessary to launch the bullet. Express your answer in terms of any or all of the variables presented here. So, uh, in this case, uh, we have a constant volume. It means that uh, uh, we have a proportionality of uh, pressure. So, it means that uh, P critical over P initial equal to temperature critical over temperature initial. So from here we can find uh, what is our critical temperature. Uh, temperature for which uh, this uh, bullet start to move. So that will be T0 multiplied by P critical over P0. So this is correct answer. Next problem. Assume instead uh, that we launch the bullet uh, by pushing in the plunger and that we do so quickly enough so that no heat is transferred into or out of the ga to, to the gas. Find the length of the gas column inside the cylinder when the bullet, bullet just uh, starts to move. Again express your answer in terms of uh, these parameters. So this process when we don't have any heat transfers uh, called adiabatic process and uh, for such process we have formula P V power gamma equal constant where gamma is a ratio uh, C P over CV or that's equal CV plus R over CV uh, CP it's a uh, uh, thermal capacitance uh, for uh, constant pressure and uh, CV it's a uh, uh, thermal capacitance for constant vo vo uh, volume uh, we have CV for mo monatomic gas that's equal 3 over 2 and in this case uh, gamma equal 5 over 3 so we have a formula P V power 5 over 3 equal P0 
v0 5 over 3 and uh, finally we have final pressure equal p0 multiplied by v0 over v oh i'm sorry uh, we have uh, Uh, v equal v0 multiplied by uh, p0 over p power 3 over 5 and uh, because uh, volumes are uh, proportional to length of cylinder we can replace this volume by length so this is correct answer next problem it is necessary to squeeze the bullet uh, to get it into the cylinder in the first place the bullet normally has a radius r b r b uh, that is slightly larger than the inside radius of the cylinder. So it means that dr equal rb minus rc. This is much smaller than rc. Also we uh, suppose that uh, h much less than l0. The walls uh, of the cylinder apply a pressure to the cork bullet. When a pressure P is applied to the bullet along a given direction, the bullet's uh, dimensions in that direction are changed by formula dx over x equal negative pressure over Jung modulus for material of this uh, bullet. If the coefficient of static friction uh, between the cork and the cylinder is mu, find uh, an expression for P critical. So now we need to find P critical using all these uh, parameters. So, first of all, we can uh, uh, write pressure on the bullet from uh, walls so this pressure p equal uh, d r over r multiplied by young modulus so here we just uh, replace uh, one dimensional uh, relative uh, change of uh, the size of this bullet uh, so uh, force normal force on this bullet will be pressure multiplied by uh, uh, by uh, area uh, this uh, side area which is connected to cylinder so this is dr over r e r cylinder and multiplied by 2 pi rc h yeah that's it and uh, that's equal to 2 pi dr e uh, h so this is our uh, normal force on the bullet to find what is a uh, force of friction for which uh, we can uh, move this uh, bullet maximum force of friction it will be F equal mu by normal force which is uh, 2 pi mu dr e h and uh, finally to to get uh, this uh, a bullet moving we just need to uh, write the 
equation that uh, total pressure uh, from both sides uh, create the force equal to this uh, maximum force of friction. So we have uh, 2 pi mu dr e h Uh, that's equal to pi r c square multiplied by p critical minus p zero. And uh, from this formula, pi is cancelled, and uh, finally we have p critical equal p zero plus. 2 mu e in modulus h over r c square. So this is the expression for critical uh, pressure. That's it.